summarized when you are beginning to write, the things that you need to remember are keep it simple, simple in terms of language, sentence structure, chronology, and everything else. Secondly, there is that old, well, very over-familiar phrase, show, don't tell, but it is important to remember. You do not tell us that the character is, you know, you know, a policeman. You allow us, because you tell us something about their uniform or something about the way they take their truncheon out of their pocket or whatever it is, we go, oh, of course, it's a policeman. We like to be shown. We don't like to be told. And showing encourages the inner cinema screen to function more vividly and effectively. It encourages the transmission of images. When you're just told, it just goes in as information, and information doesn't turn into pictures. The five senses are the way in which we negotiate our way through the world, and they are the way we feel our presence on this earth. I'm coming over all religious. And you can draw on all the senses when you want to bring the specificity of a moment in time as experienced by a character to life. It isn't just a matter of what people think. It isn't just a matter of what people see. It's what they touch and taste and most importantly of all, smell, at least for me. Smells are extraordinarily evocative. If you allow yourself to describe what the, your character is sensing in between them talking, you will bring their specificity, you, you will make them specific. You'll bring them to life. There are three words that sum up, in my opinion, what you need to remember when you want to write, when you're beginning to write. And they are reading, rewriting, and conflict.